on we go then with the women's bars final. The weight of Beth Tweddle. She'll be last to go. Bars final. But with the absence of Mustafina. The medals are wide open here, Christine. It's going to be a great, great final. It is going to be a great final. And um, Beth's done a tremendous amount of work to restructure her routine to get the maximum start value out of these skills. Yeah, And Vanessa Ferrari. For Kim Bui. Second German. Aus Deutschland from Germany Elizabeth Sites. Elizabeth Sites. the competition is Great Britain's Elizabeth Beth Tweddle. So is her routine very different? You say it's been restructured. They've kept the same elements, more or less, but packed it in together so that um, by, by putting the moves together, you, you get bonuses, you know, 2D moves, a point one and an E and a D, a point two. So they've been able to restructure it so that the start value is increased and she actually was awarded a 7.1 start value mm -hmm. in qualifying, however, it's very difficult. The spatial awareness is unbelievable. Um, and it does very much depend on that first two moves going successfully. Otherwise, you're, there's, no, there's no way to recover it, if you know what I mean. Right. So, I mean, psychologically, that, that's, a, that's a big deal going oh, into the routine I, I for her, it, isn't it? I think it's a big deal. And, uh, again, a bit like Christian Berkey, there's everything to lose. And, well, not nothing to gain. There is something to gain, but there's an awful lot to lose as well. Yeah. Especially today with Mustafina out, which was the one gymnast who really was challenging her. Mm -hmm. so, but um, here, the girl of the moment. Anna Mantieva, all-round champion. Beautiful little gymnast. Clean, that's a lovely half turn to catch the high bar. Toes on and off and then in and out, given a higher difficulty level when you don't put the feet on. Swings down, swings high. Front somersault, Jaeger somersault after the first gymnast who performed it. Lovely hop half turn into the Kachev. Gymnasts have to show turns, releases, flight up and down. That was hers. Every handstand must be at handstand. Super little routine so far. Lovely double straight finish. Hardly any errors there at all. Incredible performance and not shaking at all. I mean, she came into this competition as a reserve due to the injury of her teammate. And um, wow, that was that was something special. Wasn't she, last night? She didn't seem at all phased by the fact that uh, Mustafina vaulted, hurt her knee, had to go out, and then all the pressure was left on her shoulders. It didn't phase her, Mitch, did it? It was a surety about the performance. She was very confident. Moves very well connected. Hitting handstand when she needed to. That was lovely. She hit that full turn, banging handstand. Very, very confident, assured performance. Just a little pace at the end, but good in the air. <laughs> little flourish at the end. But that form, legs locked together when they needed to be, straight as you like, pointed toes. She, she's the sort of gymnast that you can see. She's been taught perfectly from a very young age. Every skill has been built on only when it's perfect as the next skill being taught. And, and when you've been taught systematically like that, you, you can do it all easily.
big hand guards, almost bigger than their hands. And then of course the wristbands that uh, protect the wrists from the leather of the hand guards. Given a 5.8 for difficulty, just a little bit down on qualification, but 14.475. Eight Could six challenge. seven five for execution. Where do they get the deductions from? Yeah, really? I have no idea. Well, the, the catch of wasn't the highest. There would have been a deduction on that. Um, the t little bits and pieces like that. The turns not being. They, they can always seem to find something. Well, with the absence of the highest qualifier, have you ever been looking for a medal here? And watch this, this straight toe on catch -up. Beautifully performed. Really an exciting gymnast on asymmetric bars. Floats down to the low bar. Lovely full pirouette. Finishes in handstand. Floats up to the high bar with a half turn. Toe on and off, half turn. The Jaeger somersault. Lovely straight legs on that. Crisp turn there. The toe on and off again with full turn, just leaning slightly sideways into the full twisting double back dismount. Yeah, slight hesitation on that penultimate move before the dismount, and I thought, oh, she's going to be offline slightly, but she nailed it. She did, she pulled it back, didn't she? You could, the angle we were watching it from, I don't think the judges would have been so aware, but the angle we were watching it from, you could see it sort of lurch sideways and need to be brought back. This is a terrific move. Pressing the heels back underneath her to get the straight body slightly arched to clear the bar. And very nice. Hits the handstand after the full turn. Half turn again in the transfer. This was really good, clean, well connected work. Another no nonsense performance. Yes, and much better a year ago when we watched her. There we are, you could see she was leaning, <laughs> yeah. wasn't she? And she bends her legs past the low bar. It's a technique some of the gymnasts use, but I think it gets deducted. Can you see there, as she comes past the low bar, instead of bringing her feet inside the low bar, she bends them to clear the bar. And um, that probably is going to be a point three deduction, I would guess. Well, she was the third highest qualifier, 15.075. Mm. She'll be in with a shout. Only had two gymnasts score more than 15 in qualifying. Well, three if you count Mustafina, but she's not competing now. So uh, just two in this final scored more than 15. She was one of them, so she's keeping the pressure up. Van Wallerheim in Belgium. She's 14th in the all-around competition. Oh, and she's taken an intermediate swing there. Ambitious work. She's transferring from low bar to high bar. And again. Held on very nicely to the full pirouette. Shoots up. Just a little shy of handstand there. Good turn into the Markolov, the straddle back over the bar, but the handstands, as she's getting tired, are, are a little bit short. Very nice double straight dismount. I like this technique on the double straight a lot. She's, some of the gymnasts are very arched, but she's very precise in her straight shape. Picks her feet up very strongly. A lot of them pick their thighs up, and they have to arch to make the double rotation, but that was a lovely technique. This is a first appearance in a European bars final. Right at the beginning, she did the, the Shaposhnikova, we call that after the first gymnast who performed it, where you jump from the low bar to the high bar here. And she was meant to do a move straight after it, and she took an extra swing. Oh, no, that was when she did it the second time. First time, she didn't do that straight in. She swung forward, swung back, and that will be an empty swing, which will be deducted. She's good with the pirouettes. The pack salto. 
Yeah, she recovered well, didn't she? The extra swing, but she got the rhythm back. Good, strong connections. Uh, let's watch. Very strong with the feet in that double rotation to get a nice straight body. 14.075. She's in third at the moment. Nabieva still leads the field. 0.6. Former world all-around champion now in 2007. Vanessa Ferrari from Italy. We saw her. Well, we've seen her grow, really, haven't we? We have. She's tiny when we first saw her. That's right, and she's changed some of her work. This is the first time we've seen these turns into the Jaeger somersault. Turns. There we are, the Healy. The full turn straight into the big high Jaeger somersault. Just lost her feet a little bit on the shoot down. And as with all tiny gymnasts, the shoot up is quite a big skill for them. But she's swinging very nicely. Full twisting double back, just released a bit early. She looked like she was swinging well, but she didn't wait to hit the bottom and then rise up. She just hit the bottom and let go, and that was the result. A little bit of a ping. <laughs> That's the unofficial word for it, isn't it, Rich? <laughs> so when you turn around and the bar's still moving behind you, you know. <laughs> Her forward swinging's very nice, though. Very stre stretched through the shoulders. That was a really good combination building up to that, Jaeger. Some lovely work. She's adapted well. Yeah, I was going to say, she seems to be hitting form again, because she went through a phase, didn't she? Obviously, if she had a growing spurt, you kind of have to reassess your work and then look at the cord and find what moves suit you again. And, and it seems like she's coming into her own once yep. more. And she was sixth uh, yesterday all around, which is her best result for a, a few years. And generally, I'd heard people say Ferrari's looking in the best shape she's been for a long while. And shame that she made that error there, but I think she is. And mm. I think she'll start building for this next Olympics. The last Olympics fell just for her in a growth period. She came 11th. I'm sure she'd dearly love to show a better result than that. Ferrari 12.85. Costly dismount. Yeah, execution 705. One whole mark she lost there, so it would have been 805 without that. Error on the dismount. See, I've done it. In the Netherlands. She has six sisters, would you believe? Goodness me. Does this skill very well, the in and out to handstand. There we are again with the half turn. Oh, how high was that? It was a fabulous front somersault, massive above the bar. Oh, that was a little offline, but she recovered it very well. Didn't link the shoot down to the shoot up, so she'll just be 0.1 down on start value there, but she covered it well, quick thinking. Oh, made the full pirouette, had a little think about it, straight into the full twisting double back. Good work and good quick thinking as well. Yeah, very graceful. I mean, it may not be the most difficult routine that we've seen, but, um, you know, beautifully executed. Jaeger was the high spot, wasn't it? Mm. Literally. <laughs> Way above the bar, clean, plenty of rotation, good swinging catch. And when we talk about deductions, you see, they won't have deducted for her for lack of height on this, but uh, Nabaeva did a Jaeger, which was sort of at bar height, and I think that that's where they get these deductions from. 0.3 for lack of height in the Jaeger. So it's all that sort of thing. That's and a great skill. Lovely skill, just slightly bent arms as she came out of it, which again is something the judges will take a little deduction for. That was the weight to go over. But she didn't ping, did she? Bar's <laughs> nice and still. That is super. Plenty of swaying on the catch. Lots of height.
strong performance in the all-around as well, yep. seventh. And interestingly, she's one of the gymnasts not wearing handguards. Yeah. Yeah. It's a choice whether they wear handguards or not, but obviously the, the friction on the hands often makes blisters if they don't wear, wear handguards. Score of 13.975 for Celine.